Hey, what's up? I'm Dylan, and this is how to use TypePop. You can find TypePop in the Titles browser and the Transition browser. For Titles, click on this button over here in the upper left corner to open the Titles, and then scroll down till you see Type Pop over here on the left hand side. Type Pop is broken up into modules and a couple titles. You can preview them by scanning your mouse over the thumbnail and you'll see the animation. Oh, that looks good. So Type Pop uses special fonts. If you want it to look exactly like the original design, then you'll need to download these special fonts and you can get them from the user guide slash help page. All right, let's play with module one. Let's drag and drop it onto our timeline and I wanna change the timing of it. I can click on the beginning or end and drag to make it shorter or longer. I can also select it and press Control D to change the duration. And I'll enter 500, enter. Let's take a look at it. All right, it's a good looking title, but we need to customize it. Select the title and open up the inspector. If you don't see it on the right hand side here, click this button with the three sliders. First, let's change some text. In the viewer, I'll double click on my text and press Command A to select all the text and I can enter mine right here. I can also select the text and it will open the text inspector over here on the right hand side. And then I can select this text and change it. And we'll change one more. Sorry, I believe it. We can also change the color of our text. If we scroll down underneath face here and click show, we can change our color. I can right click on this to quickly choose a color or I can click on it and it will pull up this color picker. And then I can select a new color that way. I've got a couple of them saved here. Let's try these out. And let's change these as well. So I'll select them, click on this color tag, and then select the new color. And let's change it for those two words, rules the, there we go. Now to change this other color over here, we need to go to the title inspector. You can see right here, we have a color tag right here. So I'll just click on that. And I want it to be this light purple. I can also turn the in and out animations on and off. So it just appears on screen and then it just disappears off the screen, but that's no fun. Let's turn the animations back on. I can also flip it. So it's on the other side of the screen. And I have some options here to tweak the text. I can change the color like I showed you. I can turn down the opacity of that color change. I can also change this bar length. So maybe I want it way over here, or maybe I don't want any at all. I can offset the text on this path as well. And I can also add this cool color overlay, which adds a gradient over this drop zone, which I'll show you in just a minute. For now, let's put it back to zero. Okay, so this drop zone here, we need to fill in. So I'll select this drop zone, and then I'll go to my browser and I'll look for a picture. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? How about that one where I'm scared of a little tarantula? So I'll select my picture, but then if I'm in list view, I need to click the preview picture up here. I need to pick where I want the drop zone to start. Just look for this red line and move that to where you want it to start. We'll just start at the beginning. It doesn't really matter if it's with a picture. And then I'll click apply clip. So now we have this over here on the left-hand side. I can use these to adjust the picture in the drop zone. I can change the opacity so we don't see it at all. I can also rotate it and change the size. Okay, but what if I don't want a drop zone? That's no big deal. Just turn up the opacity on color overlay. And right now it's set to a gradient. You can change those colors by selecting this tag and then clicking on the color tag. Pick a new one. And let's do the same for this second tag. You wanna make sure that the color box is outlined in white, then you know you're changing that color. That looks good. We can also do just a solid color by removing one of these tags. Click and drag on it to pull it down and off. And now we'll move this just a little bit to refresh it. And now we have a solid color there. Ah, oh, but we can't see our letter, so let's change this. There we go. Now we've got a cool two-tone look. I'll click on this little triangle to hide the gradient and color options. And let's take a look at drop shadow down here. I can add some drop shadow to the title. I'll turn this up to about 80 and we'll blur it some more and add some distance. And now you can see some drop shadow here in the text and on the video and along the box or the line there. That helps just pop it off of the screen a little bit. I can also change the color of the drop shadow if I want. All right, let's take a look at what we built. Uh, we can see a little bit of that drop zone in there because the color fades in and out as it animates. So let's just remove this drop zone by clicking this little icon, by clicking this little X here to remove it. Now it's just a solid color. Okay, let's go back to our title browser and I wanna add one more module. Let's add number nine. These modules are awesome because you can use them one after another for different motion graphics. So I'll put module nine right here, right after module one, and let's take a look at it. It animates off and then it comes back on. But I think an even cooler way to use these is to overlap these modules. So I'm gonna just move module nine over a little bit. Now module one animates off and 
nine animates on. Very cool. So modules are like scenes that are animated. And then your titles, like lower third, are just simple little titles you can add to introduce your video or end your video. Let's take a look at the transitions. You can find those in the transition browser. Just click on this button right here to show it. And then scroll down till you see type pop. There's one transition. Just drag and drop your transition in between your clips. Let's take a look. Nice. Let's select the transition. I can change its duration by clicking and dragging on the beginning or end to make it shorter or longer. I can also select it and like a clip, press Control D and enter a new time. I'll enter 113 for one and a half seconds and press enter. Go to the inspector and under here we can change the colors. Let's try this little combo here, purple, blue, purple. And then I want to repeat this color. So I'll drag it down onto the bottom one here. There we go, that's better. I can also change the roundness of this and I can turn the outlines down so we just have solid colors. I can add some drop shadow to it as well. You can see it right here on the edges. All right, let's take a look at the transition we just made. Beautiful. So that's how to use Type Pop. If you have any questions or need any help, just email me at raisinhater at stupidraisins.com. Happy editing.